everyone, it's great to see you. Just a quick update today as we've got quite a busy couple of weeks ahead of us, but hopefully that means there should be a lot of content coming on the channel. Just want to say quickly before we get into the video, if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the like button as well so you're kept up to date when I make a new video. I know I keep harping on about it and if you're already subscribed, thank you so much, but it really would mean the world to me and it means we can keep on bringing you these videos on a regular basis. So without further ado, let's get on with this quick update. Thanks for watching everyone. So, as I just said, we've got quite a busy week ahead of us, heading off up to the Balding Reefers for his opening weekend of his fish room. I'll show you a little bit more about what's going to be happening there in a minute, but the bonsais are all looking okay and doing okay at the moment. I need to really get on and give that Dawn Redwood a bit of a prune. But all looking good on the bonsai front and then just quickly with the koi i won't get the gopro in there but they're nice and happy after we had that long spell of hot weather and now it's come back to something a bit more normal after a few thunderstorms but the koi are perfectly happy and content at the moment giving them a good couple of big feeds ready to go away for a few days and not be fed for a couple of days but should all be fine to leave for a little bit they'll be happy enough just chilling and we'll see them in a couple of days when we get back so here's just a small selection of some of the trees that will be going up to the building reefers for the opening weekend so we've got a couple of um, curly willows, I think they're called. Can't remember, they're, they're a type of willow. Bent trunk willow, maybe? Don't know. A couple of willows there. Got a couple of Japanese maples, Acer palmatums, little oak tree, small juniper. I'm not sure if that one's gonna be available for sale. I quite like that one, or quite like to keep it for myself. Another small maple and a larch here, and there will be a good number of more trees available up there this weekend. So if you're coming, I can't wait to see you. And if you're free this weekend, consider heading on up to the Balding Reefers and come and make some bonsai with us. All of these will be going up there with us. It'd be lovely to see you. Can't wait. Anyway, let's go have a quick check in on the koi fry and the guppy fry. And then that'll just about be it for this week. Quickly before we check in on the guppies and the fry, we also acquired this microfuchsia bonsai quite difficult to convey on camera just how small this is so if you excuse the dirty coffee cup up there is a standard size coffee cup in comparison to the size of this microfuchsia bonsai it's absolutely incredible and just shows the results you can get from bonsai. Who wouldn't want one of those? Incredible. Anyway, the guppies, as guppies do, are still continuing to breed at an existential rate. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks we should have a solution to that problem. But they are all growing nicely. What we've done recently is some of the fry were getting a little bit big in this one and starting to get their color compared to some of the newborn fry. So what we did is we moved the bigger ones and the ones that were getting more color into this tank temporarily. 
Um, as I say, we should be getting another tank so we can sort the males from the females so that they just don't keep breeding unless we want them to. But um, some of the bigger ones are now in here and really getting some nice colours on them. I don't know if the camera will show it up well. Here we go, here are the nice two. Look at those colours. We're starting to think they might be Endler Guppy Cross. Endler Guppy Crosses because the coloration is absolutely fantastic. Nice little male there. It's going to be beautiful. So really overjoyed with how the guppies are doing at the moment on the whole. I love that male. I'm absolutely besotted by him. It's gorgeous. Even, there's just so many bright colours. You wouldn't believe that these are a little over a month old. the newborns again everyone doing well and healthy there and the koi fry are now actually oh, got out the koi fry are now actually starting to look like baby fish and baby fry which is so great so positive getting to about a centimeter long the heat wave and the hot weather really helped. Um, haven't had any losses as far as we can tell for a long time. Starting to get a couple of Tobies. But, and there's still some very tiny ones in there, but they're eating very well and they're coming on together. They're coming on perfectly for an accidental spawn and my first ever koi spawn. I'm over the moon with them nice lot of them have survived and good healthy lot now they're starting to look really nice almost starting to get some color and some pattern on them so we're just going to give them a nice big couple of feeds over the next couple of days before we go away for three days and then they should be fine for a few days just left to eat the residual food and nutrition that will be in the water but absolutely I, I sit by this bucket for hours just staring at them and watching them they're so lovely now they're really starting to get character can't convey it very well on camera without going out of focus because they're so small there we go Come on. Just love their little eyes. Truly really turned into little fish now. And they've started swimming up, most of them, which is great. I almost forgot. Nature Pond is doing okay at the moment. Well, that bush has gone completely mad as it does every year. I don't actually know what it is though. Um, might, I think it might be a mint of some kind. It does smell minty when you um, when you pick the leaves on it. The hydroponics experiment still isn't doing great. One of the tomatoes is well, they're both surviving, but they're not doing very well on that one. But what I almost forgot to mention was we've replaced the old broken bench with a new one that's quite comfortable that sort of bench isn't really my cup of tea but it looks nice in the archway sweet peas are flowering nicely a little bit starved for water on the sweet peas but new bench garden isn't looking at it, looking at its best as I say didn't get much water last week and we didn't get around to watering them that much this is the remnants of the stink plant. So, as I say, it flowers and then dies off pretty quickly. And then, there we go. That'll be it till next year. There we have it then. Like I say, just a short, quick update today because we've got quite a busy week and a lot going on. And who knows, there should be quite a lot of content coming soon and possibly even a live stream or two, not sure yet. 
All that's left to be said then is if you made it this far and you haven't already, I know I keep harping on about it, but it really would mean the world to me if you could just smash that like button and the subscribe button as well next to it. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it, me it keeps me motivated and it means we can keep bringing you these videos and all of this content on a regular basis. So I'll see you in the next one, everyone, and hopefully see you this weekend. Take care.